Faith and this video is going to show how to use a ring sling with a toddler, which can be a little more challenging to load than a small baby. I'm going to show two methods. I'm going to show um, loading from the top like I would with a baby, and I'm also going to show doing it with him from a standing position. Come here, Judah. <laughs> so I have my sling all set up, ready to use. I'm leaving myself quite a bit more room than I would with a smaller baby, and I have my rings, I have the fabric well spread between my rings, which is going to make it easier to adjust later. So let's go ahead and grab Judah. Come oh, here, you. I'm going to hold him up high on my opposite shoulder. Now here, as you can see, I'm pretty much holding him fireman style. So his belly's kind of on my shoulder. I'm going to reach my other hand through, and I'm just going to sort of have to bend his legs one at a time to take them through the sling. And I'm going to just load him sort of off center between tummy to tummy and hip, but you can put them in wherever is comfortable. So now I'm holding the bottom rail between his legs, and I'm holding the top rail in my opposite hand. And then as I lower him down, I'm just pulling that bottom rail up and pulling the top rail up over his shoulders or to the armpit. And then once I have him in, I just go ahead and tighten like I normally would. I feed the slack around to the rings and then pull through. So see, I have a nice deep seat here. The fabric extends all the way to the back of his knees on both sides, and he's well supported. I want to make sure that I want to make sure that the bottom rail is um, tightened so that it's about a straight line from knee to knee um, between my body and his diaper area. So that is the first method. I'm going to take him out and show the second method. So I'm going to lift his bum and loosen the rings. And then I'm going to pull this down and take him out by the armpits. Lift up and out. And then same thing, I'm going to take him up to my shoulder, sort of fireman style, and pull the sling down and place him on the ground. So that's the first method. The second method, I'm going to leave my sling really loose like this to show the second method. Come back here, you. So this I'm going to do with him standing. I'll make him way back so you can see. And I'm going to just stay here. Stay here. I'm actually just going to take the two rails of my sling and I'm going to just trap him. So I'm going to bring it down between our bodies. And then I'm going to take one hand of the stand up to show you this so you can see but I take one hand between his legs to grab that bottom rail as I lift him up, and then I just bounce him up using that bottom rail to help lift him up onto my hip. And then, again, I'll just support his weight and go ahead and tighten up his leg. And there we go. Same thing, fabric to the back of the knees, well tightened. And when I want to let him out this way, I can just lift his bum, loosen, and then pop his butt out of the bottom and place him on the floor. And he can run away and cause trouble. Thank you.